Today, I'll be teaching you how to make your own 5M server with the easiest method possible. This method would not require you to have any knowledge with programming and coding. The method is simply plug and play. And I would recommend this method to everyone who are starting out with 5M server creations. First, head to the link I have provided to download the server requirements. Click on the Windows Server Building list. It would redirect you to another page. Download the latest recommended server artifacts. Open it with any archive extracting tool. This is how the archive would look like. Now, extract it to anywhere in your PC. I personally placed it in a separate drive and named the folder 5M Localhost Tutorial for the sake of this guide. Now, create a new folder named Server Artifacts. Then, extract all of the contents to that folder. Once that's done, scroll down to the folder and open fxserver.exe. A terminal console would open and also some firewall alerts. Click Allow Access. Simply wait for the console to load. Once that is loaded, you would be redirected to TX Admin Configuration. Click on Link Account. Then, log into your CFX account and authorize TX Admin. Create a backup password for your server's console. You may use this password whenever you are logging onto TX Admin. Once you're done with setting up your password, click on Next. Set your server's name. You can name it whatever you want. For this tutorial, I'm gonna name it as Test Server. Next up, select the deployment type. I recommend selecting popular recipes as it has plenty of pre-made options that you can choose. You can select if you want QB Core or the ESX framework. In this tutorial, I selected the CFX default since I am only making this server for testing vehicles. Now, select where you want to deploy the server. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Once you're satisfied, click the recipe deployer. Now is your chance to finalize everything. If you're not satisfied, you can return to the previous setup. If you're okay with everything, click next. You are now being asked to input the license key. You can obtain the license key by clicking the keymaster. Open it in a new tab. Sign into your CFX account. Select new server. Input the name of your server. Select what kind of server is it running at. For this one, I declared it as a home-based server. For the initial server IP address, you can Google what's my IP and copy the IP shown by Google. Once you're done with that, click Generate. You now have your own license key. Simply copy that one and paste it back to TX Admin. Click Run Recipe. Now, wait for it to properly deploy everything. Once that's done, the deployed folder would pop up. Get back to your TX Admin and click Next. Now, this is your server configuration. You may access this one through the deployed files or through TX Admin. I will explain more about this later on. Now, click on Save and Run Server. After that, you would be redirected to your TX Admin dashboard. Once you see this large CFX.re, it means that your server is now online. The console in your dashboard would reflect the logs running on your PC. Since the server has been set, let's now join the server. Open your 5M. Press F8, type connect localhost, and press enter. Wait for your server to load. Loading times would depend on how strong your computer is. Again, allow access to firewall pop-ups. There you go. You now have your own 5M server. Before that, we also need to set up the menu, so you can spawn vehicles and do whatever you want. Once you're done exploring, exit the game. Open your deployed folder. This folder is placed near your artifacts. Open the resources folder. Create a folder named vMenu. Open the link provided below to download vMenu. Go to releases. Click on the latest version of vMenu. Scroll down and click on vMenu zip file to download it. Open the downloaded file with an archive extraction tool. Extract the contents to your vMenu folder. Wait for it to extract. Once that's done, Open the config folder inside the vMenu folder. This has the permissions.cfg, which you need to edit to give you access to certain commands in game. Navigate back to your root folder. Open server.cfg. In this file, you can do plenty of changes in your server. The name, the number of players, the scripts, and declare system administrators. Now, since we have vMenu as a new resource, we have to declare it. Type exec permissions.cfg. To be sure, I would recommend typing the entire directory of permissions.cfg. If you placed it on the same folder that I did, you may copy this line. After that, type start vmenu. Save the file. 
Now, navigate to your permissions.cfg, which is inside your vMenu config folder. Once you scroll down, you can see the commands that each role may access. You can also see the players who are allowed to use vMenu. Since you're the server owner, you need to give yourself the permission to use the menu. So, here's how we're going to do it. We would be using your Steam identifiers to tell the server that you are permitted to use vMenu. Open your Steam. Click on your username. Click Profile. Select Edit Profile. Scroll down and look for your Steam URL. Highlight and copy it. Go to Steam ID.io. Paste your Steam URL. Click Look Up. Get the Steam ID 64. Copy it. The Steam ID 64 is a decimal value, which you have to convert to hexadecimal for 5M to acknowledge it. Go to Decimal and Hexadecimal Converter. Link is also attached in the description. Paste your Steam ID 64 in the decimal part. Click Convert. Copy the hexadecimal value. Replace the number of the Steam identifier to the converted number of your Steam account. Replace both administrator and moderator. Save the file. Open TX Admin and restart the server. Wait for the CFXRE to show up. Run the game. Press M key to access vMenu. And there you have it. Congratulations. You now have complete access to your own 5M server. If you learned something on this video, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one.